guys, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I have all the hack rank and leak code solutions on my channel if you want to just check out playlists for them. Uh, this question is part of the Java series. It's called Java String Reverse. So a palindrome is a word, phrase, or number, or other sequence of characters which reads the same way backward or forward. Uh, for example, race car. Backwards is race car. That's like probably the easiest one. Uh, given a string A, print yes if it's a palindrome. Otherwise, print no. Um, a, a, a will con oh, A is a variable, will consist of at most 50 lowercase English letters. All right, so I'm going to show you how they want you to do it, and then I'm going to show you the algorithm in best, fastest case to do it, um, the best way to do it. So Java string reverse, they just want you to use a string builder and know you can do it. I already looked at the solution. You just do string B, so you have your string here, right? String A is just the regular string, and then you're going to do string B equals, you're going to use this thing called a string builder, and we use string builders in Java to, you know, build strings uh, for one for one thing. Uh, you pass in A, so we pass a string into it. And we can call a lot of methods, and we use string the string builder class to kind of manipulate strings and do things we can't do with strings because strings are immutable, right? Uh, so we can reverse the string, right? So if we have A is race car, we can reverse it, set it as B, and then we could... String builder isn't a string, though, so you have to always call two string to get a string back. Uh, so now we have B, this is the reverse version of A, so now we can just do if A dot equals, that's a method to check for equality, uh, B, then we're obviously going to print, yes, it is a palindrome, system.out.print ln, uh, yes, with a capital Y, um, else, system.out.print ln, no, and now I'm going to show you the better way to do it, hopefully this runs, uh, I don't know, I didn't, I thought this was a dumb... They, they should definitely include the actual solution too. Um, so this this is good. I mean, this is you have to reverse every string, but what if you have millions of strings? You don't want to reverse every string and do this when there's a faster way to do it. Well, here's the faster way to do it, right? Because reversing actually takes, we have to loop through each entire string. But what we can do is only loop through half the string, and you know how we're gonna do that. Um, Here's a better way to do this. Uh, here we go. So we have this is where we started, right? We, we could actually just run this. This gives us what we started with. This is the one you're going to see on lead code. I already did this on lead code. You're going to set a pointer. So I'm going to have a pointer equals zero. And you're going to set b pointer, you can call them whatever you want, uh, to a dot length minus one, right? The last, the first character and the last character. And then to make this way faster, what we can just do is while a dot char at, because that gives you the character at, uh, a, p a position, an index, at the first index, so while, actually, sorry, 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 the main condition to keep the loop going is while a pointer is less than or equal to b pointer, because um, a pointer, it should be, always be less, and they're going to go, they're gonna, we're going to check a character at the beginning and character at the end and see if they're different or the same, and they always should be the same if it's a palindrome, right, because it's the same way forward as backwards, and we're going to keep moving in, so we're going to subtract one from our B pointer and add one to our A pointer, keep moving in, and check that the characters are always the same, if they're not the same at any point, so meaning if A dot char at A pointer is ever not equal to A dot char at B pointer within this loop, then we are going to do system.out.println. No, they're not a palindrome. They're not equal. That doesn't work like that. And then you're, we're going to return so that we don't run into any errors. Uh, and if we make it through the whole loop, that means every character was the same because the loop breaks earlier than going through the whole string because we're actually reducing the time by accessing two characters at the same time as we move forward and backwards through the string and checking two characters at the same time, way less iterations than a loop uh, through the whole string, right? So check the characters. We get to the middle of the string when A pointer is equal to B pointer or, you know, depending on if there's even number or odd number of strings, uh, characters in the string. So when we hit this condition, we break out and then we know that they have to be palindrome. So we can just do our print statement. Yes, right, there we go. That's it. Let's run this. This should work too and it should be way better. And it is way better. I would recommend doing some problems like these. Uh, Hacker Inc. doesn't always provide you with the best case, though, so be careful about that. Uh, what did we do wrong here? A dot char at a point. Oh, we didn't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Guys, 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 sorry. I can always do this in my videos. You have to a increment a pointer, like I said. I just got caught up in explaining it. 
and then decrement B pointer. That means A pointer plus equals one. So we'll move on to the next character and B pointer minus equals one because otherwise this will never break out. I don't know how to even pass test cases there. That was really weird. So there we go. That should run. That's a way better algorithm. So definitely be aware of that. I think they just wanted you to know about the string builder. Um, so this is the best one. And then this is the editorial where they have like, um, you know, they just tell you to use the string builder one that I showed you in the beginning. So just be aware that you can use string builder to do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's useful in a lot of cases, but definitely also be aware that hacker rank doesn't always give you the best algorithm. So you got to make sure that you know stuff like this. Um, all right, thanks for watching. I'm going to do next ones. If I ever run into something like this again, I'll try and make sure that I get the best algorithm. Sometimes I don't know them, though, so leave a comment below if you know them in my other videos or whatever. All right, see ya.